Now, wouldn't it be ironic if I catch a trophy sized carp at the spot where I caught a trophy sized channel catfish? I'm fishing with a new carp rig today. This carp rig was given to me at the catfish conference by another YouTuber. His YouTube channel is called iFish. I'll link it in an iCard above. And this is what he gave me. A bait cage, which I think works better than the method leads that I bought because it's a spiral and they'll hold the bait in there better. And I tell you what, the carp are all around here. They're literally jumping out of the water. So I'm trying to do this really quick. And he's got a swivel with braid to another swivel to the hook. And his kit came with this little bitty sinker, which I was unsure of where it went. So I put it with a swivel. That's the only place I could see that this would go. If you guys know where this sinker should have actually went, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to get these two rods in the water with some pack bait that I made. It's just bread, cream style corn, and drained regular corn with just a tad bit of water. And I left it in my fridge overnight. I want to pack these up, put corn on the hook, and get them out there before it gets too dark or the fish jump out of the water and into the sky or something. I, I don't know what they're doing. They're jumping like crazy around here. But there's plenty of them. So I have a good feeling that I'm going to catch a carp. This is really good pack bait. <laughs> I've already accidentally hooked some corn. These hooks are sharp. There we go. It's packed up, ready to go. Second one's ready to go. All right, set up. All the carp are jumping really close to shore, so I didn't really cast too terribly far out. Let's see what we catch. Beeper's not on. All right. Lively.
release. That was a smaller one. I know it wasn't a trophy size. I see why they like using nets to bring these guys in. They are slippery little buggers. I did wash all my bait off. All right, let's try this again. They're still jumping like crazy around here. Just put that out there too. Probably eaten from the cage. They haven't hit the hook just yet. Whatever is there must have ate most of my bait. I've been watching the carp where they're jumping. So I'm going to reconfigure this a little bit. Check my bait and <laughs> I need to get that on camera. I'm going to reel in and reconfigure my bait. And I'm going to leave the camera on the lake to see if I can capture a jumping carp for you guys. Neighbor's dog is saying hi. Hey, buddy. He came all the way down from the house up there. And just like that, all the carp stopped jumping. The sun's going down too. Hoping that one will at least bite before it gets too dark to film. I always have my drag too light. They do fight hard. Don't get in my other line. Whoa.
my size one. There's a reason why I need a net so he doesn't flop around like that. Finally landed one. Carp. Right before it got dark. Nice common carp. I'm going to measure this guy real quick. I highly doubt this guy's 34 inches. 27 inches. Off he goes. I'm losing light fast, but I want to put this back out there anyway and see if I can get another one. The temperature is dropping pretty fast too, so I'm not going to be here too much longer. I put the hook in the dough ball on this one too. For Mr. Panfish from iFish. Figured I'd show you guys the hooks. Gamagatsu G Carp, size 4. They kind of look like a circle hook, but they're more of an octopus hook. That's the hooks he gave me. He also gave me some ball swivels. And he gave me a few more of these cages, just in case I lose the two that I have on my rods. He also gave me this, which is a sinker dropper if the sinker gets snagged. It also has an anti-tangle sleeve as part of this rigging here. It's a plastic clip that you clip your sinker on and if it gets hung up while you're fighting the fish, it drops the sinker off. I think this is really specific to carp fishing. That's how you rig it. Really interesting stuff. But I really do like these cages. If you're watching this eye fish, thank you for this. This is great. I guess it's about time for me to get the light out. It's get a little bit too dark to film. And my other line. Wrapped up in my other line. I was about to close the video and this guy hit right when I hit the record button. Probably not going to get a good picture of this guy. We're right at dusk and it's hard to film right at dusk. My light might be a little bit too powerful too. Let's see if we can get a good look here. Nice carp. Oh, we got another one. I think it dropped it. I think this guy's a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and measure him. That might have been the carp jumping right there.
get it in before another carp hits it. Okay, where's my measuring tape? This one's 29 inches, so I'm going to get them back in the water. See if I can get a release on camera at night. All right, I'm going to call it now that I'm soaking wet and it's getting cold out. It's going to be probably about 30 degrees tonight. It's the end of winter. Springtime's just around the corner. When this video is published, it probably will be springtime. So this freezing cold weather at nighttime will probably be going away soon. And that's when the flathead catfish start getting really active. I know I didn't catch a trophy carp today, but maybe another day. My quest to catch a trophy carp continues. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.